Okay, so today's tomato review is going to be on the black zebra tomato. Now, I believe I've done a review on this in the past, but we're revisiting it this year. This is probably going to be the last review I'm doing on it, but I figured I'd visit it again, being I got a pretty good harvest off it this year. So, here's what it looks like the in general. Now, it looked very similar to the chocolate sprinkles tomato. I can certainly assure you that it is not the same as the chocolate sprinkles tomato. Nothing beats the chocolate sprinkles, but this is still a good tomato, quite honestly. Here's another one, give you an idea what it looks like, like that. It's a very beautiful tomato, it's, it's got this red color to it, and all this green modeling effect to it, which is more or less striped across the tomato. And it's dark green, it's like not like a light green, it's a very dark olive type green. And this is what it looks like on the inside very dark on the inside it's almost black on the inside it's one of the blackest cherry tomatoes i ever seen so it's a very very dark tomato very delicious and we're going to do a bricks very juicy by the way ah, it's like about a six on the bricks that's pretty good it's low for this tomato, but everything's been low this year because, again, I didn't use super soil. I didn't add lime to the soil, and so a lot of my tomatoes are very low in the sweetness, and I really try to bring that sweetness up by adding a good amount of lime. But this year, I just I couldn't do it. I'm growing so many plants, I didn't have time to actually make my whole mix the way I did. It was just a, a, a cumbersome situation just trying to get soil. I was processing all my wood chip soil this year. And just doing that by itself was an enormous task. So, anyway, let's give it a go. We'll do this side here. And uh, going in. Okay, it's a little low on the sweetness as I anticipated. Um, that's partly probably my fault because, again, I didn't add lime to the soil. When you don't lime your soil, you don't raise, you don't raise up the pH. And when you don't raise up the pH the tangy parts of the tomato will be more pronounced. It doesn't necessarily mean you got more sugar in it. It just mainly means that the tangy part's going to be more pronounced because the soil was an acidic soil. It's more acidic. So it only makes sense that the tomato is going to be more acidic. But it's widely known that if you lime your soils, you get sweeter tomatoes. Try another one here. This one's still kind of green on the inside it's good enough to eat okay so as far as the sweetness goes I'd say it's probably around 22 percent kind of on the low side tangy part was like around 31 percent so that number was a lot higher with the tangy flavor than the sweetness would be so the balance was definitely off a little bit but this tomato has a tremendous aftertaste a very very tomatoey nice tasting aftertaste it sticks around in the back of your tongue that is the type of thing that i look for in tomatoes so because of that reason i still like the tomato i still will grow it because it's got a good flavor that lingers around after you've eaten it now usually that type of an effect whenever you get that long lingering aftertaste with tomatoes that's usually a good sign for a good tomato sauce so you could probably make a really good tomato sauce with these tomatoes i've never actually tried myself because I usually mix all my tomatoes together when I'm doing these reviews because I don't have time to play with each tomato. I've got several hundred tomatoes to review and I can't play games, you know, each tomato. i got to process them very quick because if I don't process them, if they stay around anything more than a day or two, the fruit flies will tear into them and that's pretty much the end of those tomatoes. So i got to work very, very diligently on them. But I definitely recommend this tomato. Now, I did have some problems earlier on in the year with this tomato. Not this year, but other years earlier. And it tends to be a little finicky on where it grows and the type of soil you put it in. So this is probably a tomato you're going to want to grow by itself. Don't grow it next to your other tomatoes because it's finicky. It likes the whole light, the whole sun, everything to itself. And if you do that, it'll really be productive because this year... This tomato did very, very well for me, and it's probably done better this year than since all the years prior 
that I've grown it. So this year was very productive. I got an absolute ton of these tomatoes off of here. And, you know, it's just, it, it's hit or miss. you got to find out where the tomatoes that you're growing are going to grow best for you. In this particular case, I've been growing those tomatoes in the, uh, you know, five-gallon pails for years or a bucket or, uh, or pots. But this year I grew it out in my garden to see how it would do out there, and it did absolutely phenomenal. Whereas other tomatoes will do better in buckets. It really depends on the variety. If you've got a real finicky variety like this one, well, try moving it around. If, it, if it's not doing good in your garden, then grow it in a bucket. If it's not doing good in a bucket, grow it in a pot. And grow it in different areas of your yard until you can find out what area it likes. Because tomatoes are weird like that. They might not like to grow on this side of the yard, but you move it over here and the thing explodes with growth. It's just the way it is, guys. I, I mean, there's no way to specifically pin it down. But that's what, that's what I do, and I get a lot of success in years to come growing certain varieties of tomatoes because I do that. So anyway, that's really it, guys. That, that's your tomato review for the black zebra tomato. I don't know if I'm growing the green zebra, but if I am, we'll definitely be reviewing that later this year. I don't think I'm growing the green zebra this year, but I'll do the green zebra next year, and I might even do the green, the red zebra as well. So we'll have black, green, and red we'll be doing. All right, so that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.